Employers may have added only 142,000 jobs last month, but there are some industries where jobs are on the rise, no matter which way the economic winds blow. Mary Thompson reports on the need for wind turbine workers from Sweetwater, Texas, in our latest installment of Where the Jobs Are. Sweetwater made its name as a railroad hub, but it's banking on a future in wind. The more than 1,300 turbines dotting its skies mean plenty of work for turbine servicers like Shermco Industries, if it can find the workers. We have the jobs, uh, but we can't find the people. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says jobs for wind technicians should grow an above average 24% by 2022, driving the increase, a rise in the number of turbines being installed as the cost of wind generated electricity has dropped in half over the last five years. When our students graduate, uh, I would say almost about 98% of them play in place. Heath Ince runs the Wind Energy Technology Program at Texas State Technical College. He works with the industry to assure the two year program produces workers with the right skills. Uh, they're looking for guys that can read schematics, they can uh, have mechanical and electrical skills. Those skills needed for years to come. Wind-generated electricity accounts for just under 5% of the U.S. total now, but has seen more than doubling to 10% by 2020. It's a young industry and it's something that's going to grow exponentially over the next 10 to 15 years. 33-year-old Harold Perigo left Pennsylvania for Texas and a career in retailing so he could study to be a wind tech. Along with plenty of work, being a wind tech pays well too, especially in markets like Texas, where Shermco CEO Ron Woodup says competition for talent is stiff. You're coming in uh, as an entry level job, probably $40,000, $45,000 a year, and then there's an overtime element, and so you can very quickly get up to sixty dollars or $80,000 uh, uh, a year. And then in a few years, uh, it, it's not uncommon uh, to get to a six figures uh, pretty quickly uh, in, in this. Uh, in this field. The steadiness of the work and pay, a welcome change for 34-year-old Jeremy Brackenridge. I'm making about 10 percent more than I was. He's held a number of jobs, most recently in oil and gas. Laid off there, he's now training in-house at Shermco to become a technician, energized by the possibility of a future in wind. In Sweetwater, Texas, I'm Mary Thompson for Nightly Business Report.